everybody. Uh, sorry about the noisy environment. Not sure what's making all the racket here. Something over there in that plant, I guess. So we're in uh, Port Angeles, Washington, and we've got the uh, triaxle uh, Tritum uh, Freightliner Classic XL here from Ruta, and the old school paint job. And I uh, better just hop in here. Oh, it's loud in here too. Got my windows down. Let's get her sparked up. Get away from the noise. up. Beacons on. Breaks off. Let's get out of here. A little chat in the way. So we got our work cut out for us here. Oh boy. Yeah, she's not steering. Okay. Get that triaxle set up. Let's have a look at this. I uh, wonder if I can lift that. Uh, I should have manual control over it. Let's see if I can lift it. No, it's not letting me. Where is it? No, it's not. Darn it. Yeah, this thing isn't going to turn too well. I might have to. We'll see how we do here. The load is 171,960 pounds. So if we end up with uh, a lot of trouble with the steering, I'll pause. I'll go into the open def, add some weight to the front axle. So we got 16 wheels on the float. And we got uh, 12 on the drivers. So we got lots of rubber on the road Turn here. Right. <laughs> oh, that's heavy. Wow. <laughs> kind of rolled through that stop sign a little bit. I got my big gun in here, my uh, 1,005 horsepower version of the uh, Z-Mod 3406B. Let's see if we, how we do in these corners. They're not, we're not going very fast yet. This one's a little sharpish. Let's see, will it steer? Ooh, ooh, boy, not really. Wow. Okay. Um, I think I should go add some weight to the front end of this thing. Let's uh, pause. I'll be back. Okay. Uh, we didn't get to just keep on rolling. I guess because we went in and changed the file. Decided better park the truck. I had it. I thought I missed that gear. Yeah, we got steering now. I added, um, I put the front axle up to 9,000 kilos. So in pounds, I guess up to 18,000 pounds from 11,000 it was Go at. Straight. I had essentially 7,000 pounds to the front axle. That should keep us from, I think on our route here, we're going down to, oh, I didn't tell you. <laughs> we're going to uh, the Dales. Uh, I believe the Dales, is that Washington or Oregon? Anyway, we're heading south down here and we'll be um, doing some freeway driving and uh, with some corners in it. And Go straight. I like our chances of uh, making that with the old configuration. <laughs> My friend Matt would say we slides right off the corner. <laughs> I 
That's equivalent to like a toboggan going straight, I guess. Boy, they uh, tough times down there in Good New shit. Zealand with all of the had a weather disaster essentially, and it was pretty bad. Um, he can't, you know, his whole street. They're out of their homes. There's a landslide happening behind the homes. His house is covered up to the second story in the back and uh, not able to live in his home and lost a few friends who are uh, in emergency services, I believe firefighters, perished in the rescue attempts and stuff. It's brutal. I, I saw, you know, I'm, I'm surprised we aren't hearing more about this. It's, uh, maybe it's just my bad for not connecting with enough news. Uh, but boy, things aren't good. Go straight. Oh, here's that guy with the tipped over log load there. Side is here. Come on, bud. Don't just sit there. Yeah, we got the windy road out of town. Wow, it's still not steering really well. Maybe I should have added more weight. Let's try this one. Yeah, this is not going to. Uh, it's really bad. We'll have to. Uh, this isn't going to cut it. Oh. Can't even go 30 miles an hour. Okay. This time we should uh, hopefully uh, I'll just get around this corner. I'd like to be able to get uh, closer to the speed limit here. We'll be here all day. pause and go add some more. Okay, stopped us again. Well, that was curious. The uh, change didn't take uh, effect because I, uh, I did it on my other computers, the open def and all the truck folders were on it. And I transferred it over to this PC, but I guess I edited it and didn't change the, uh, or sorry, save the file. Oh, too big a hurry. So, I didn't add more. I just added the same weight again. Let's see what happens here. Should be able to just keep on the throttle here. Yeah, now we're turning. So this was the 9,000 kilogram front axle. All right. right. This is the road to the ferry. Port Townsend, if you're taking the ferry over. I was looking at a job over to OMAC just to take that nice highway. The, uh, can't remember what it's called. Anyway, we were on it recently heading from OMAC uh, westward, so I thought, eh. Let's not do it again right away, even though it's in the other direction. Yeah, this is a workout for this, uh, this engine. I'm certainly not running away with it. So we do around here, we're going a little quicker. And oh yeah, we're fine. So if you're looking for that, uh, where to do that, um, add the weight to the chassis, it's in the open definition for whatever route of truck you're making a, you're going to do an 8x6, I highly recommend it. 
um, you go into the open def, you you know right click on it, open go with straight. seven zip. Uh, go into the def. Uh, let's see, where's it? Def vehicle truck. And then I'll have the truck name. In this case, uh, freight.xl. Click on that, and in there will be a whole bunch of files. One of them is chassis. So you go into the chassis file and you look down you can see all of the various things like which axles steer which are liftable um, and which are drive axles are they powered it's true or false for those and then you'll see curb weight you'll have curb weight which is a weird way to put the curb weight on a particular axle because i usually look at that as the total weight but anyway and then you the left column is kilograms and that's the one that has the effect the one on the right is pounds you don't need to change the pound ones unless you want to be stickler uh, I generally don't change it I just change the kilogram which is the active one that's going to make the change happen to the truck if you didn't change the kilograms and change the pounds in the right column it wouldn't take any effect and it's like when you're souping up the engine's uh, Z-Mod, like this engine, uh, you got to change the Newton meters with torque in metric, I guess. <laughs> you got to mess with the Newton meter number. But because you can see the engine in the shop and the window when you're looking at them, I do the uh, pounds as well, the pound feet of torque. These guys slowed down so much there. I could have used a little momentum out of there. Keep left. I think there's a way scale coming up here somewhere. Oh no, not right here. Come on, old girl. This is where it'd be cool with the serial blue, serial blacks uh, engine fan kicking in. They're standing on it that hard for that long, it definitely would be an opportunity for the fan to. Keep right. Uh, After 50 yards, exit right ahead. The fan to come on. Exit right ahead. Looking to see where we're going. That's pretty cool. Better get back inside here. Get too close to traffic to uh, be messing around. They were awful heavy. You don't want to react too late to anything. We'll be in the 
world of hurt. Just kind of wait on. Shoot, we're gonna have to go around this guy. Come on, baby. Yep, we're steering fine. Thorn in his side. Ahead. Get some momentum up here. Uh, lots of power. Not the best photo. I'd like to get the truck centered a little more. I never manage it. They're always, uh, it's just, I guess, the nature of taking a photo on the fly. You always end up with the cab of the truck in the middle of the photo and the trailer out to one side. Keep right after yeah. 50 yards, exit right ahead. Then when you reduce the photo for a thumbnail for YouTube, exit right ahead. You got a trailer off on the left edge of the keep right yeah these are the uh, corners I was really worried about with that front axle not steering oh, a little bit under steer there But nothing like it was. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Banana peel bad. Oh, look at this uh, nice body of water here. Time to, oops, what are we doing here? There we go. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Not more water. Oh, let's go with this one. No, oh, this one. Wow. A lot of water. Oh, that's what we wanted to do. I think I was wobbling around there. <laughs> Get that white car back. <laughs> oh. You didn't want to come anywhere near the wobbling dude. Oh, yeah, so getting back to the skin, I, uh, it's pretty much ready to uh, publish. I got to get the photos, but I got to go over the four trucks one more time just to look for things that could be a problem. And uh, I think they're pretty much ready to go. Keep right. The Dales. That'll be us. Sixty two miles to go. Well, we're gonna just this doesn't get too tight. No, we're good. Keep left. Oh. oh, I think she just wants me to get out of not going that turning lane. Well we're doing pretty good. It's a good thing the speed limits aren't too high. It takes a month of Sundays to get up to anything like we're doing in Texas. Now we just hit the speed limit now. We're doing 
pretty good. Oh, this bus up here may have something to say about it. Darn it all. Okay. Oh boy. He's just not getting going. Now maybe it's along here there was a way out way scale. Yeah, I think the other side of this tunnel. Way station. Oh, I just hope we get the wave around. I sure need through here. Yes. The wave around. The magic wave around. Saved a few gallons of diesel right there. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so you'll be watching this video on Monday, and uh, I think the skin will be out on Monday. So that's a good thing. Just like to have a good look over. Got to go in into each truck and uh, go through all the options. Some of the things aren't going to look quite right. Um, I like the double tank on this truck, and I got the uh, pinstripes on the tanks set up on the double tank and so when you pick a single tank the pinstripe moves off center towards the front like the step area where you get in the cab which is pretty cool but there's a little bit of the uh, pinstripe left at the back of the tank and I'm good with it like I mean I think uh, you know it's a compromise you got to make some compromises to have something that looks half decently cool and uh, some little things like that if it's any more glaring, I have to, you know, cut back on the bling a little bit. Won't be as much stuff painted. I didn't put the uh, unit numbers on the air cleaners this time. I just put them on the front hood of the truck. Keep Is that right? Because I after 50 yards, exit right ahead. I really like having them on the painted uh, air cleaners, right but a lot of guys like chrome air cleaners. So, it's just, just this once, now I'm find you. Turn right. I, uh, I want to stop here. There we go. I, um, I was saying, yeah, just this once we're going to have the, numbers on the uh, front nose of the truck. Right up there in the front. Wow, I missed that gear entirely. What's going on? It didn't take... It's... The range isn't After going again. 100 yards, turn left. Come on. Holy. Man, I slam it away at it. And it was staying in third gear instead of I was trying for 11th gear. Imagine that. Oh, that uh, sticky range is uh, coming to bite us again. The range uh, shift. I think what happens is sometimes I, you know, this isn't, it's not a real one, right? And I think uh, it gets confused if you have it in the wrong position when you move the stick. I think it may be something I'm doing. I don't know. It's hard to blame it on the switch. But for the most part, the switch seems to work properly. Oh, man. Oh, the lane's going to end, too. Oh. oh, which lane ended? The left left lane, I think it said. Oh, it's going to get ugly with the bus. Yeah, his lane ends. He's going to have to... There he goes. All right.
right, nine miles. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Oh, we have to follow a tractor into the yard. I wonder if the wheels are turning on it, or is it just gliding? Oh, we can't get close enough. Can't tell. After 100 yards, turn right. Sorry about that. Turn right. Once again, you have to watch this trailer pop up when uh, get the arc back in it after the load comes off. You have reached your destination. Imagine they're going to have us put it over there at the end of the barn. Yep. I think it's kind of boring. Like I've mentioned before, I think it's harder to park in beside the elevator here, or the uh, silos. Get right in there is a little trickier than this park. Oh, there's a uh, dro modding load. Guess I got the, the dro uh, low boy in here is the loop. <laughs> we also got the uh, um, SWC uh, Doper Legacy, because that's parked beside it. Oh, of course, this. Uh, which profile is this? I don't know. I only got about 120 mods in this one. It's not a really crazy one. Nice drive, saw some different scenery. See that the loop, the loop, uh, loop, there's nothing tying that tractor down, it's just sitting on there. And that kind of took the fun out of that trailer for me. I never really noticed till Recon pointed it out. Oh, it went okay. Used quite a bit of fuel 100 gallons, yeah. Ooh, it's a lot of fuel. 277 miles. Ooh. But nice drive. Yeah. So cool truck. So for this one, I had to take the uh, the I took the writing off the frame. And uh, what else? On the back of the cab's a little different. The trucking logistics is right on there. And you don't have all the stickers, of course. Not really a lot of place to put them. And other than that, pretty much the same. Yeah, it's a smart looking truck. I like it. So yeah, the uh, if you have questions on that, uh, adding weight to the chassis, I can't remember. I think I was supposed to do a tutorial on that all at one, at one time. Somebody had asked about it and I can't remember if I did or not. I'll check and if I didn't do one, maybe I will. But if you have questions on that, because, I mean, this thing's undrivable with a lot of weight on it and uh, those three axles in contact with the ground. It just wants to go straight. 
So adding weight to the front axle is the ticket. Um, anyway, thanks for following along, guys. I appreciate it. And as always, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.